Hi guys, today we're just doing some experiments with this high frequency transformer. As you can see, it's quite a large transformer. And this was uh, recovered from an old power supply. My friend also has the same transformer, he's asked me to look at ways of driving these. Um, it's quite, as I said, it's quite powerful. I think it's rated at 300 milliamps and uh, 10 kV. And that's continuous, so uh, that's quite a transformer to be fair. Um, for now, we're just doing some experiments. Well, I'm going to look at running it with a ZVS for now. This is obviously a home built ZVS and uh, intermediate transformer. This is to take it from a Santa tap coil to a minus a center tap. Um, I'm actually powering this from my Variac. And my Variac is in turn feeding this bodge together power supply. So there's some heavy diodes in there. There's a full bridge rectifier and uh, some small capacitors and obviously a, a decent sized transformer. So we're just going to run this and uh, observe what happens basically. See if ZVS is going to be up to the job or, or not. So without further ado, we'll fire her up. I've not actually measured the frequency of this, but uh, obviously there's an audible whine, so that's going to be uh, way below the 20, kilo, 20 kilohertz. Alright guys, uh, we'll just start putting some marks off this and we'll see how the ZVS stands up. I built this CVS some time ago, but it is a, it's a nice CVS, it's well put together and uh, it doesn't usually overheat, but saying that, it's always the first time. Like I say, we'll give her a good run. I'd like to also measure the input voltage to the CVS and uh, see what we're running at. At the minute we're not actually putting out that much voltage, but there's a lot of current there. I mean, it's not even jumping that. So it's capable of a lot more, obviously. Saying that though, 10 kV is only, uh, it's only a centimetre, so... Right guys, we'll switch off at that and uh, examine what's happening with the ZVS and uh, the heat of the transformer, transistors and everything else. So we'll run it at 100 volts on the input side and um, I've not actually measured the uh, ZVS voltage, but I will do. Right, we'll just uh, knock this breaker off and have a feel of this uh, ZVS driver. Oh, we're still stone cold. Absolutely stone cold. Transformer's cold. Capacitor also cold. Mm, there's a little bit of heat in this inductor. I expected that. This is the weak link in this uh, in this circuit, but um, we can easily uh, sort that out. I think if I build another one to actually run this transformer, obviously I've uh, at least four FETs and a, a considerably bigger inductor. I obviously, uh, use the same uh, uh, micro Henrys, hundred micro Henrys, but obviously we'll use a lot thicker wire. This is obviously a constant current source. This right. Um, okay then. Well, on them results, I think we can put a bit more input power. So we'll uh, go back to the uh, Variac. We'll dial her up a little. We'll fire her back up. Interesting, we can hear a little bit of a frequency change there. Obviously, oscillates faster the more uh, voltage you apply. significantly longer arc and obviously a higher voltage it ignites uh, further distance I can no longer hear the whining from the transformer now, so it's obviously uh, above my hearing range.
I just want to see if I can see the uh, current one I'm asking. Like seven amps from here, but it's hard to see. That's quite an impressive transformer. I'm very happy with that. It's uh, really nice. Right, we'll just pause again at that guys and uh, have another feel around and uh, make sure we're not overeating any of this stuff. I'm sure that inductor uh, won't take much more of this. Right then. Yeah, we're starting to warm a bit now. Well, that were, that were a lot of current. Transformer core still cold. Plus it was cold. You seem slightly warm, but obviously I can put the back of my hand on it, so it's uh, it's not that warm, is it? But the inductor will have to be careful of you. Yeah, it's hot, but still touchable. This transformer's stone cold. I think that'll take that all day, that transformer. It's obviously oil cooled as well, because there's oil in there to insulate it. Quite nice. I think we'll just push it a little bit higher, and then... Uh, I think we'll crack on with building a driver for this. I think we'll use the EVS because uh, this is quite impressive. I think we've got a frequency change now. That doesn't. That sounds different. Wow, that's quite smart. <laughs> Obviously thinking uh, voltage multipliers and uh, Jacob's ladders at the moment. But yeah, this could be quite fun. to see uh, how much current we're pulling. Nearly 8 amps at 164 volts. Pretty good. <laughs> and that's obviously the uh, idle current. 800 milliamps. So I think we'll leave it at that, guys, for now. And uh, I think I'm going to pursue the uh, ZVS idea. Uh, more to come once I've got a driver built for this, and then uh, we can run it right up to, uh, well, as far as we dare. <laughs> Take care, guys. More to come soon. Thanks.